Hello guys and welcome back. So today we're gonna talk about the latest generation of processor that Intel is about to release on the market. So we're gonna talk about the Intel Coffee Lake uh, CPUs. So basically the 8th generation of CPUs. So let's start by talking about the release date of those. So what we know until now is that Intel announced them at Computex this year and they said that they are going to release them to the market this summer. So we expect them to be released probably at the end or middle of August. So, that, so that's pretty close to now and probably Intel is trying to release them prior to the release of Ryzen 9 and Ryzen 3 processors and probably is trying to tackle them in some ways. Now let's go into the specs of these processors. So they're going to be named according to the previous ones. So we're going to have the Intel Core i5 8400 and 8600K. We don't know if uh, there is going to be the uh, skis like the uh, 8500 like we had in the previous generation the 7500 but we know until now we're gonna have the 8400 with six cores and yes guys that's the biggest difference and most important difference of them all because Intel is bringing the six core processors to the mainstream something that uh, we wanted to see in a long time and finally they are doing it so we have the i5 8400 with six cores and six threads at 2.8 gigahertz and it's not going to be overclockable but it's going to be rated with a TDP of 65 watts and then we have the i5 8600K which is going to be the overclockable SKU with six cores and six threads at 3.5 gigahertz and it's going to overclock at around 4 gigahertz stable at 95 watts now we have the 8700, the i7 8700 with 6 cores and hyper threading enabled so we have 12 threads at 3.2 gigahertz and of course it's not overclockable and then we have the latest SKU which is going to be the i7 8700K the overclockable one with 6 cores and 12 threads at 3.7 gigahertz and a boost of 4.3 gigahertz now these these cpus are all going to be supported at 1151 motherboards so lga 1151 motherboards so i believe that even the z170 motherboards are going to support them because why not i guess since cabling was supporting them even if you have a z170 board uh, you'll be able to buy an 8th generation processor and put it there so this is it guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you did make sure to click the like button below and subscribe to my channel and i'll hopefully see you guys all in the next one bye Don't let me sleep, never say you're sorry.